What is going on, guys? My name is Kralix, and I am back with an animal magnetism quest guide for RuneScape 3. Now, this is an intermediate quest, so it is, you know, not easy peasy. You have to do some, uh, a little bit of thinking, and but you are watching a video, so psh, just sit back and just watch what I do and do what I do. But anyways, you will have to do some requirements before you could start this quest, which are... You'll need to complete the quests The Restless Ghost, Ernest the Chicken, and Priest in Peril. Those quests are pretty easy, you know, just... They're all pretty short, and I completed them within, like, 30 minutes for all of them, so... Not that hard. And the skill requirements, you will need 18 Slayer, 19 Crafting, 30 Range, 35 Woodcutting, and 20 Thieving. Now, you will need a couple of items for this quest. You will need the mithril hatchet it has to be mithril five iron bars and they have to be unnoted like you know just how i have them the ghost speak amulet you get that from the restless ghost quest and if you do not have it just go talk to the guy that gave you it before and he'll give you a new one a holy symbol four buckets and a hard leather there's also you also need uh polished buttons which you get from thieving ham guards and I'll show you how to get that in a bit and you'll also need 20 ecto tokens which I'll also show you in a bit now the recommended items for this quest are the ecto file and you get that for completing ghosts of Ho uh, ghosts ahoy or uh, having the lodestone to canifis will work just as good also having the lodestones to drain our village and taverly will also make this quest a lot more shorter a charged amulet of glory or our explorer's ring uh Ram ramona's necklace or a clan vex to get to remington mine a slayer ring or a slayer mask to teleport to the uh Mort Mortena uh, Slayer Tower. I know I pronounced that wrong, but you know, RuneScape. What are you gonna do? I will show you guys how to get the polish buttons and the ecto tokens in a bit. All right, guys, I am back, and we are going to start this quest, and it's in the same spot where you did that maze or that IQ test for Ernest the Chicken, and you'll see an NPC called Ava here. You're gonna talk to her to start the quest and I would be happy to make your home a better place and I think that's all you have to do to start the quest let me check real fast and yes we have started the quest and we will need to go to port a fast mantis so there is a couple ways to get there if you have an ecto file just use that and you'll be right there you could take a boat to it also and port siren and also if you have the lodestone just use the lodestone to get there i'm going to i'm using the lodestone and i'm going to go east to get the ecto tokens i will cut the videos until i get there all right so i'm at the ecto file place uh where you get the ecto tokens this is where you're going to use your buckets pots and your bones to get the ecto tokens so to get the ecto tokens you're going to need to climb up these stairs and then you're going to use the bones on the bone grinder right here. Uh, oh, use them in the hopper. And just set it to auto so you can just get all four of them done real fast. What the hell is going on? Oh, there we go. Alright. And then you're just going to wait for it to to get all this uh bone dust so there's one and you guys get the point i'll just cut the video all right so now i got all the bone meal from grinding up my uh the bones i put in the hopper now i'm going to go down the trap door on the opposite side of this place and you're going to have to run all the way down this uh whatever you want to call this and if you do have a high enough agility you can just jump down but sadly i do not so i have to run all the way around i'll just speed this up until i get all the way down to the bottom all 
Okay, so now you're at the bottom. You're gonna use these buckets for the, on the pools of slime, and you're gonna gather four buckets of slime. And then you're gonna have to go all the way back up the staircase again. <laughs> I'll just speed it up until I get up to the top. Okay, so now that we're back up on the top, you are going to worship the ectofungus. And this will, uh, you have to do it four times to deplete the slime and the bone meal that you have gotten from, uh, what is it called, from doing that little activity. Then just talk to a ghost discipline and then uh, collect and there's 20 ecto tokens. All right, so now once when you're done with that, you're going to head west to the farm. And this is where you this is where you'll need the ghost amulet and this is where you're going to talk to uh, Alice's husband and to get all the information on the bank and all that. But anyways, let's talk to him. All right, so now I have to go talk to the wife. And say you're here about a quest. Then we have to go talk to the husband again. Then we have to speak to the Wife again. Wish I could just give her her my ghost angel to speak. All right, now I need to get the password from the husband. Now I have to go back and talk to her. Okay, so now let me just try something. I'm pretty sure you used the ghost amulet speak on her. No. Okay, my bad. You have to get a separate ghost amulet of speak, which you get at the Slayer Tower. And I was an idiot and forgot to bring my Slayer Ring. But if you did bring your Slayer Ring, just teleport to the Slayer Tower and I will just speed up. No, I'll just cut the video and until I'm at the Slayer Tower. All right, so now that you're at the Slayer Tower, you're gonna go north, and you'll see this little uh, house with the person you have to talk to uh, to get the second amulet of Ghost Speak. So I'm just gonna talk to her. Oh, oh! All right, here we go. And I'm not reading this just because, you know, it, it would be a lot longer. And I just, you know, when you're looking at a quest guide, you're most likely wanting just to finish it real fast. Now, you're going to take off your amulet of Ghost Speak. You're going to talk to her again. Now you're going to have to head back to the farm. And I will cut the video until I get there. All right, so once we get back to the farm, you are going to talk to Alice's husband. Make sure you put your ghost speak amulet back on. And let's see where he is. Where are you? What the hell? Oh, there he is. All right, so talk to Alice's husband. And you're just going to say, uh, you know, you got this idea of having two ghost speak amulets. And... You're going to talk to him again. 
uh, talking about that you need two more chickens or a couple of your chickens and he's gonna try and catch one with a sack apparently he completely just missed it no oh boy AI in this game what are you trying to get he's chasing no bird what the hell oh my god old moon Oh uh, man, I remember when Rooney's looked like that. Ooh, did they, did they just kill a chicken? Alright, sweet, so you got the chicken. Now, this is when you need to spend your Ecto tokens to get the chickens. So, talk to Alice's husband again. Can I buy those chickens now? Alright, so it's 10 Ecto tokens per bird. So, just buy two chickens. And you have a chicken now. I want to see what they look like. Oh my god, it's like a little sack. That's awesome. And now you're going to head back to Ava. In All right, so now that we're back at Ava's place, you're going to talk to her. And she's going to have you talk to... Or she's just basically explaining why she uh, needs these feathers and all of that good stuff. But we have to go talk to the witch and give her our iron bars that we have. And she'll give us a bar magnet that we get. Or a bar hammer. I think that's what it's called. And we'll see what's called. Whoa, she is green. Alright, so talk to her again. Alright, so now that we have the selected iron, you're going to need to head to Remington. So if your house is in Remington, just use a home teleport. Or if you have the lodestone, is there a lodestone to Remington? No. So I'm just going to port to Port Sirem and just walk north. And I'll speed up the video until I get to the mine. Okay, so now I'm at the mine. You are going to need to be facing north and use the selected iron. So just face north. Use the selected iron and you'll get the bar magnet. Now you're going to head back to Ava and Drainer's Manor, and I will be back once I get back to her. Alright, so now that we're back at Ava's place, we're going to have to talk to her, and she's going to say we need to get some uh, wood for our uh, uh, quiver that attracts uh, arrows and all that good stuff. Okay, so now you're going to exit out of her room, go in the front, and try and chop down one of the undead trees in the front of this mansion, or haunted house, whatever you want to call it. And this is when the hatch will just bounce off, and you're going to need to go to Taverly and get your hatchet blessed by uh, the Slayer Master over there. All right, that's a dead tree, dead tree. Where is, oh, so there's one. So you're gonna try and chop it down. And the hatch just bounced off and you should actually, or you're gonna have to go back to Ava and talk to her. Alright, so now you're going to go to Tiberly, and that'll put you pretty close to that Slayer Master over there. And you're going to get your hatchet blessed, and then you're going to come back to Ava. So you're going to head south and then cross this bridge to get the Slayer Master, which is located 
right next to the tree patch in Tiberly. And you're going to talk to him. I'm here about a quest. Talk to him again because you have the holy symbol and all that. I'm here about to talk about the trees again. Alright, so now that we have the blessed hatchet, we're going to go back to Drainer's Manor and I will cut the video until I get there. Alright guys, I am back and I am so sorry I forgot to uh, get the polish buttons and they completely removed the uh, hand place. Like Jesus, it used to be like way over next to Drainer and now it's next to the cow fields and Lumbridge. So to get here, just teleport to Lumbridge, then come to this... Uh, cow field and you'll see this old mine entrance and fuck it's locked oh yeah just pickpocket <laughs> for a second I was like oh god I'm gonna have to get a key or something alright so now you could uh either kill these guards or pickpocket them to get the polish buttons I'm pretty you only need to get one so hopefully this guy just drops him and they are combat level 44 I'm only level 64 so or 65 so <laughs> it might take me a while to kill these guys so let's see nope let's uh, pickpocket uh, where's one that I could pickpocket so the ones you could pickpocket are the ones you cannot attack so let's see if I get some buttons from pickpocketing nope uh, pickpocket come on buttons come on come on come on oh Jesus give me your damn buttons Ugh. I always hate crap like this oh psh. you would hit me let's see if I can pickpocket again it's kind of funny how I can pickpocket guys I'm just standing right in front of them what idiots oh all right there we go so now I got the polish buttons, all you gotta do is just polish them and you will get the polish buttons. Now you're gonna head back to Draenor Village and you're going to talk to Ava and this is when you will get the quest complete. Hopefully. Oh wait, no, we, we haven't, we're not gonna talk to Ava yet. We still have to chop down one of those trees with our new blessed hatchet, that's right. Sorry, I'm kind of forgetting because that took me a while to find that place. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to find a tree that uh, that attacks you, chop it down, and you'll get a undead twig. And then you're going to go talk to Ava. And I think this is when you get the pouch. Okay, so now that you have the research notes, you're going to translate them, so you're going to mark everything besides the, so deselect the first, third, fourth, leave the fifth one, then the rest of them besides the last one, and that's how you translate it. You're going to talk to her again. All right, now she gives you the container. Or, here, wait, sorry, I. So you're gonna use the polish buttons on the hard leather, that's right. And then you're gonna talk to her again. And that's when you complete the quest. Thanks for watching guys, this is my first quest guide so it might be a little rough and I will eventually get better. If you did like the video make sure to thumbs up and even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.